Hey guys, it's Mired Thoughts, and as you can see, I'm outside, and you know what that means. It means it's time for a water gun review. But before I do that, uh, I want to take a quick moment to apologize for not posting anything in the recent couple of weeks. I've just, I've been really busy. Uh, Drak's been really busy as well. We've both been having a lot of things going on, and we've wrapped up most of it now. So hopefully in the next coming weeks, you'll see a lot more of us. And in fact, hopefully within the next couple of days I'll have something really exciting but we'll see how that goes anyway back to the reason I'm outside which is of course a water gun review this is something I picked up at a thrift store once again this is a super soaker XP 105 now it's from 1998 I believe no 96 1995 sorry 1995 it's so it's one of the early soakers it's probably one of the the last ones created before the CPS line that came out in 1996 and it's pretty decent for an air power combined air water tank so soaker but that's about what it is now it has this power gauge on the side unfortunately mine doesn't work go figure but the soaker itself is operational. You pump it something like eight or nine times. I guess you could pump it a little bit more than that. And then just pull the trigger to fire. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Just a little stuck trigger. As you can see, it's nothing super exciting. I believe I'm actually out of water in the tank. Yup. Now, since I'm out of water in the tank, I can show you, it has a very weird way that it attaches the tank. This is the water tank, by the way, and these are what you, are separate firing chambers that fill uh, when you pump. But as you can see, it's weird because it attaches in the middle. But other than that, it's, it's a fairly standard soaker. It's nothing too exciting, but it is vintage, so I guess there's that. So that is the... XP105, thanks for watching.